Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the making of the mobile survival game in Unity. Now in this episode we're gonna be looking into making a picking up system and an inventory system as you can see here. Now this is by far the most complex part of this whole series, so make sure you follow everything that I do carefully. If you're enjoying this series make sure to subscribe and if you need to download scripts they're on my discord, link down below in the description. Let's get started. So first we need to make a pickup icon. So what I did is I went to Google and Googled a pickup icon, imported it to Photoshop, made sure it's transparent, also I added a circle around the hand and imported that into Unity. And make sure the texture type is Sprite 2D and UI and click apply. Now go into the canvas, right click on it and add an image, call it button pickup Drag the pickup icon on it and add a tag called pickup. Make sure you add the tag you created onto the button because I didn't and it caused me a bunch of errors. Adjust it however you want and add a button component. And drag the player into this little square. And don't add any functions yet. Go into the player AC we created in the last video and on Mixamo find any animations you want. I found mine and adjusted the override because it was too slow. Import the animation to Unity and make sure the read write is enabled and legacy shape blend is also enabled. Also rig is humanoid and bake into pose on all three root transformation is checked. Also on the Y rotation, put based upon feet. When I preview it, everything looks fine. Go into the animator controller and create a state and call it pickup. Add the animation to it and create a trigger parameter called pickup. Drag the any state above the pickup and make a transition to pickup. Add a pickup trigger and preview. If everything works fine, make a transition to move and a transition to idle. On the move one, make move true and check off exit time. On the idle one, you don't want to have anything there, just make sure that has exit time is true. Go back to button pickup and on the button component we added find animator and set trigger string. Write the name of the parameter for us it was pickup and hit play. As you can see our character can trigger a pickup animation when clicked on the button. Now go into scripts and create an item pickup script. This script will use another script that we have to make first called item. So create an item script and this is going to be a scriptable object so that is really really easy to add new items. With different classes such as weapons, usables and stuff like that. In this script we have to have an icon, name, a prefab when it's out of hand and details. That means that if you can craft it, what materials you would need. But more on that in the next video. Now we'll get back to the remove from inventory function. Go into the item pickup script again and on start we need to find the pickup button. Then if you press it, the pickup function will become active and this interactable variable is so that the button will become grey if there's nothing to pick up. And we have to implement the inventory to make it fully work. Now if you stay on the trigger of the rock for example and you are the player, that button will be made interactable and you will be granted the pickup item. On the trigger exit the opposite happens. Now it's time to do the inventory. Again I used Google images to search for backpack icons and then I edited them in Photoshop and imported them into Unity. Make sure it's Sprite 2D and UI and click apply. I later changed the color to white so it's more seeable and go to the canvas and add an UI image and call it button inventory.
drag the backpack icon to it. Make the anchor top right and add a button component. Adjust it the way you want to and make a new folder in the scripts called inventory and in there a new script called inventory as well. We will divide this into regions so that it checks if more inventories are enabled. Now we need to make a function to add items to the inventory. This will check if the item is not default and you have space, then add the items. Also I added the place where we will add the game messages. And I think this remove item is pretty self explanatory. It removes the item from the inventory and drops it on the ground. Now create another script called inventory slot. This will handle the behavior of the inventory slot button. What happens when you press on it, the remove button or the add item. Create another script and call it Inventory UI. This will handle the behavior of the inventory icon button. In the canvas, add the inventory UI script. On the button inventory, in on click button, drag the canvas and select inventory UI, click inventory button. On the canvas, go create UI image, remove the image component and rename it to inventory. Add the inventory tag and drag the inventory panel and slots. I found these on Google again. Make them sprite 2D and UI, multiple and click apply. Go into Sprite Editor, just select one slot and for the panel select the whole panel. Right click on the inventory, add a UI image again, rename it to items parent and add the panel image to it. and add a grid layout group component to it as well. Change the cell size so it fits your panel, mine will be 60 on the X and 60 on the Y, the spacing will also be 6 on the X and 6 on the Y. Make sure the anchor is set to stretch and on the inventory set the anchor to top right, change the size of the panel and the position of it. This is totally up to how you want it to look.
After you're done, right click the item's parent and add another UI image. Call it inventory slot, remove the component and add the inventory slot script to it. Right click on it and create another UI image, call it item button and the slot image to it and a button component. In the on click, put the inventory slot object and select inventory slot, use item. Change the width so that it fits inside your panel and right click on it and add another UI image, call it icon. Disable the image and position it inside the slot. This will be your item icon. Go into the inventory slot and drag the icon onto the icon space. Right click onto the inventory slot and add another UI image. This time call it remove button. Import the remove button and make sure it's 2D and UI and click apply. Drag it into the source image of the remove button. Add a button component and click the plus and drag the inventory slot to it. Go to inventory slot and choose on remove button. Adjust the size and the position of it. And in the inventory slot on the remove button tab, drag the remove button component. Now make duplications of it as long as it fits your inventory with control D and see how it looks like in the game tab. Now we need to create an empty game object and call it game manager. Add the inventory script to it and add the tag called game manager. Again, don't forget to add the tag to the game object as well. As you can see, I forgot again, that's why you see this rock here. Now adjust the position of all of the slots. I'll just move them a bit to the right so they look more centered. Now in the item pickup script, find the commented part of the code for the inventory and add a piece of code that will store these picked up items inside of inventory. In the item script, there is one as well. Make a resource folder. Inside make another folder called items. And another called item. Inside, finally create a scriptable object on the inventory and then item. Name it rock. In the name put rock as well and then you need to find an icon for it. Again, I created an icons folder inside the project and imported a rock icon from Google. Again, sprite 2D and UI and apply. Add it to the rock item icon. Now we need an actual rock prefab. For that I use a low poly simple nature pack which is free on the Unity Asset Store. But you can use whatever you have. And just click add to my assets and import it to your own project. Now we have this awesome rock prefab and add it to the prefab out of hand. Create a folder inside of prefabs and call it items. And drag the rock we placed onto the ground into it. Open the rock prefab and add a rigid component to it. And check is kinematic. 
create an empty game object and call it trigger, add a mesh filter to it and search for cube. And add a box collider component and check the is trigger box. Also create a collider for it. Now in here I created a collider way too small, so don't be afraid to make a bigger one. Add the item pickup script as well. In there, for the items, search for the rock scriptable object that we created, and for the parent, just choose this rock. Now add the prefab onto the scene and press play. As you can see I didn't add the pickup tag onto the button pickup and it gave me an error, so make sure you always attach the right tag to the game object. Now press play, and as you can see that I made a trigger way too small, so make sure that you make it big enough, and voila, we can pick up items and they go into our inventory and as you can see, if there's nothing to pick up, this button goes grey. It will work better once we have more items. If we open up the inventory and press on the rock, it will say using rock, and if we press on the X, it will drop the rock on the ground. Now quickly we will make game messages, so in the scripts folder create a folder called game messages, and in it create a script called game message. This will just destroy the game object we put in it. Create another script called game messages, so it's with an S. In the send function we are basically just finding the game object of the game message and printing out a text. In the inventory script we have commented a place for game messages, so find it and replace it with this line of code here. and in inventory as well, another line of code like so. Right click on the canvas and create a new UI image, and rename it to Messages. Remove the image component and drag the game messages script to it. Now we need to make the message object. Right click on messages and go to UI and go text. Call it game message and make a prefab out of it and delete it from the scene. Enter the prefab, delete the text and now you can edit it however you want. Just make sure you drag the game message script onto it. You can even add animations, but since this video is very very long, I will skip that part. But you just add the animator and make an animation for the text. Drag the game message prefab you made into the messages game messages script and run the game. As you can see, once you pick up the item, it tells you what item you got, and it's stored in the inventory. In the next video I'll be showing you how to add different types of items such as weapons and healing items, and we will make the crafting and the crafting materials. I need to show you how to make something a craftable item. And that is it for today's video, the second part of the mobile survival game. We are steaming through and I will try to make the next episode as soon as possible. If I helped you please make sure you subscribe, that helps me out so much, and I'll see you in the next video.